What's going on guys? Welcome back to Pokemon X. So I actually am back in the palace garden because I'm actually, I actually forgot to grab the HM for cut. So this dude right here is like, yo, folks with a bug badge can use the move cut to chop shit down. Here's the HM for cut somewhere. There's an HM for cut somewhere in the garden and uh, it's kind of no mystery. It's like right here. And uh, yeah, so there's HM01 for cut. I definitely forgot to like explore around in this place last time, but whatever. So yeah, now that we got cut, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, you know, kind of get the hell back on out of here, and we have to, we just, so that last episode, we woke up that fat-ass Norlax that was blocking the way, just causing a whole bunch of trouble, so, yeah, we, we, uh, we just gotta see what's going on on the other side of that one bridge. Alright, so right on this bridge was where that fat-ass was hanging out, and, uh, yeah, so now we can go into, oh, crap, what's going on over here? What's up, bros? Oh, hey, Team Meister, Travis said he wants to check out the Pokemon daycare. Come with us. Sweet, so we got the daycare right here. I like it. I like it. This is the Pokemon Daycare. They take your Pokemon, take care of your Pokemon from here. Yes, indeed. You can leave up to two Pokemon here at once. I seem to remember something good can happen if you leave two Pokemon here. Sex. That's right. Sometimes we'll find a new addition, like an egg. We carry the egg around. A Pokemon will emerge from it. Wow. A Pokemon will come out. Maybe I'll leave some Pokemon here. Having the same Pokemon, having the po the same Pokemon with the same moves might step my dance up. Shut the hell up. How about you, T Meister? Some other time, perhaps. Definitely gonna use this quite a bit later on. Hey, wait, Tierna, wait up! As that bitch goes chasing after, so we got the uh, nice little daycare center. There's like a whole bunch of Pokemon just enjoying themselves. Sweet. There's actually only two, and then there's like two of those dudes over there. What's going on, man? I'm the daycare man. We take care of precious Pokemon from other trainers. So this is the dude. The dude's gonna give you eggs if you uh if you if your your Pokemon like each other enough to to bang. Whoa, shit! That bitch is running. Come back. Um, so Tits and McGee, how about, about how many Pokemon have you seen? You want to compare Pokedexes? Sure. Challenging us to some kind of Pokemon battle. I've seen 45 kinds, I've seen 50. Fuck you, man. <laughs> about to fight that guy. What are you doing? Just painting? A heated battle against a traveling trainer should provide me with just the inspiration I need. So this painter dude wants to battle. Artist Georgia. I see it's a, it's a dudette. My bad. And she has a Smeargle, a, a nice fitting Pokemon for a, for a painter, I suppose. So here's our dude Charmeleon. He's, he's looking gangster as hell, just gonna give this guy a couple embers should do the old trick. Uh, some people told me to take the EXP share, or turn the EXP share off, because it causes like the whole team to be over leveled as hell. Wait, this guy's got water gun? What, what is this? How do you, how, just shoot water out of your paint tail. Um, so thanks to the burn. This next ember is gonna kill it. It's actually cool how when Pokemon's burned, you can actually like see it like literally on fire. Well, not on fire, but like you can see some sweet little animations. The same for paralysis too. You can see like your guys like not not digging it. So fuck your crit and the burn kills your Smeargle. Sweet. So I believe yeah, that was your only Pokemon. Yeah, Malcolm grew to level 17. Very nice. Georgia was defeated. Excellent, thanks. It's been ages since I worked up a good sweat like that from a Pokemon battle. You literally, you, you used Water Gun on me once, and then you died. How, how is, how is that a good battle? Um, let's see here. Who should I put in front? I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Wally in front. This guy needs some, some damn experience. There's probably gonna be a bunch more trainers on this route. So let's see what's going on. Oh, double battle. Oh shit. You there! You're the perfect model for our next painting. Show us a magnificent display in the battle to get this painting started. I'll, I'll do my I'll do my best. You want me to like get naked? Do you want to like draw me nude or artist family Mona and Paolo? He's got a smeargle and a smeargle. I think these painter people like literally strictly have smeargles. So we got Wally and Chuck. Nice little nice little combo there. I'm gonna trace these guys' own tempo. Can't confuse me, bitch. But you probably weren't planning on it anyways. Uh, give that one a confusion, and... Vine Whip that one. Yeah, that's right. Critical hit almost kills it. Shit. Pursuit doesn't hurt very much because I'm not even psychic type, bitch. Confusion that thing probably won't do very much, but you know my little route my little routes is trying, okay? You know, actually like when I caught this routes this routes I didn't even realize that they made it psychic and fairy. 
So now it gets, uh, it's not weak to, uh, dark anymore, which is pretty, pretty sweet. So while he, while he's digging that, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and confusion, I'll confusion the almost dead one, and then Chuck can pretty much just vine whoop the hell out of that. Out of that nice and flourishing one, helping hand, oh shit. Helping out his bro. Vine whip that thing, get a critical hit again, yeah, yeah, aw, oh, okay, we're not. Clear smog removing, oh wait, I thought that said clear smog, what the hell was that? It was, it was, it hurts now. What is this? Confusion kills that Smeargle, nice. And Quacklin grew to level 17. Here we go, Quacklin. So now we can just gang up on this lone Smeargle here. Shouldn't have too big of a problem. Yeah, that's right, bro. Wally grew to level 15, hell yeah. And Chuck grew to level 20, shit. I went too many damn levels. Chuck wants to learn Pin Missile. So, Pin Missile is a bug type move that has 25 base power that hits 2 to 5 times in a row. Probably not going to use that very often, to be honest. Gonna go ahead and decline on that one. No. Give up on that shit. Thank you. And Edison grew to level 17, holy shit. Yahoo! This is gonna be our best work yet. Yeah, it fucking better be. It's gonna be your best work because it, because it's me. Obviously. So we, whoa, what the hell is this? Castle? Tits McGee, do you know about this building? It's called the Battle Chateau and it's famous for being a place where trainers gather to improve their skills. If I learn even more about Pokemon, I'm sure I'll be able to, to defeat Kalos eight gym leaders. Cool. Thanks for the thanks for the little the little info there. There's a Pokemon I saw when I was little that I don't remember well. I wonder if filling up my Pokedex will help me remember what it was. Probably another painter guy. Um, yeah, you know Wally's still in front, but whatever. A blank canvas before me, and yet no inspiration from which to paint. All these artists out here cannot paint for shit. They're always like, I don't know what to paint, man. So this guy's got a Smeargle, no surprise there. Nice and, nice and exciting. So, let's see. Trace that. This one's got Technician. Nice. Very nice. Uh, I'll switch into... You know what? Pikachu can kill this Smeargle. For the hell of it. Rock throw. Smeargles are cool because they can learn like literally anything. Let me give this guy a nice little thunder shock. And it's enough for a two hit KO, so that works out. Rock throw. Ouch. How could you possibly throw a rock at something as adorable as this Pikachu? You asshole Smeargle. You shall die for that. And success. Defeated Pierre. This guy's even got an artist ass name. <laughs> so just keep on keeping on here. What's going on, guys? If y'all don't mind, I'd like to have a Pokemon battle with everyone. Now, how should we pair up? Hmm. Let's go with Tierno and Trevor against Team Meister and me. Sure, that works out. Let's do it. Since we're neighbors, we might as well battle together, right? I guess. Let's do this shit. So we're battling with uh, pretty much our girlfriend here against these noobs. Got a core fish and a Pikachu. Cool. As we are going to have my Wally and a Fletchling. She's got a Fletchling, sweet. Who do I trace? Okay, I trace the core fish's shell armor. See, that's weird. I wonder like how it determines that I trace the core fish. Like, kind of random. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch Wally the hell out and go into um. Let me go into Snorlax. Snorlax need to see, needs to see the light of day. Been cooped up in that tiny ass Pokeball since I caught him. Why would you quick attack the Fletchling? You could totally have hit it with an, ele an electric move and it would have been much more effective. God, see, that, that's why these guys are noobs. Vice grip. Yeah, it's fine as long as you don't attack me. I'm chill with it. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna, I only have tackle for like a reasonable move. Might as well attack this little Pikachu we're already 
Already working on killing it a little bit. Just go ahead and take a tackle from the fucking massive ass fat ass bear. Oh, damn, that Fletchling lived with one HP. Because you had the right idea that time, though, at least. And this thing decides to vice grip me. That's fine. That tackle almost kills the Pikachu, but a freaking course not. Now I shall tackle the Corefish. Fletchling, you better hit the Pikachu. Come on, man. What are you doing here? And because of that, you are now dead. Could have just quick attacked the Pikachu. But no, you decide to quick attack the fucking fully alive color fish. So now he's gonna Swords Dance. Swords Dance looks badass in this game. Damn. So this core fish can be kind of dangerous now with plus two, but honestly, it's a core fish. Not too worried. So that's the second form of Fennekin. Sweet. It's got a stick up its ass, it looks like, but still, cool. <laughs> And I'm gonna go ahead and give that core fish a tackle. This thing should be able to fuck shit up. It's gonna quick attack me. Ouch. Amber's going to kill the Pikachu. Relax, we're level 16. Alright. Corefish gonna vice grip on me again. Just die already, you stupid corefish. There we go. Tackle for the win. And we just defeated our homies. Well, I guess they're kind of our friends. They, I didn't really have any choice. They just kind of started off as my friends. But, you know, I secretly hate them. Quackling grew to level 18. Malcolm grew to level 18. Sweet. And we defeated these. Holy crap, I thought we defeated them. But she's got a damn flabibi. <laughs> Alright then. Gonna go ahead and tackle it. Bryson's gonna scratch it. That didn't do anything. Barely win. You can barely even see that thing all the way over there. It's small as hell. And a tackle almost kills it. This Snorlax pretty much demolishes shit. Holy crap, that was sick as hell. It used Ember by pulling its stick out. And, oh my god. I want that thing. <laughs> Someone better trade me one of these motherfuckers. When I'm finished with this let's play. Well, defeated Tubby and that other dude. Well, now that. So you can't learn anything just from the Pokedex, I see. Yeah. Indeed. Got $3,000. Very nice. It sure is interesting to see how, each, see how different each trainer style is. Well, I guess we should head off to Amberette Town then. Cool. Head to a new town. Let's do it. Nobody ever leaves. They just stand here awkwardly and wait for me to make the first move. What the hell is this? Can we take a picture? Signboard indicates a photo spot. You can call Phil the photo guy over and he will take photos for you. Hey. Hell yeah. What? <clears throat> I thought, my thought you were talking to me. Hey, what do you want to do? Uh, so this dude just like kind of rushes out like to the middle of nowhere to take some photos for me. That's pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and take one. Alright, I'll take a great photo. Let's move to the shooting location. What the hell is this? Can I take it with my Pokemon? Oh, okay. Oh, oh or not. Just a picture of me. Look at this sexy motherfucker. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the, ni the nice the nice view. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and save that, I guess. Saved it to my 3DS camera. Cool. Well, this is a great shot. Would you like to give a tip? No. I'm not gonna give you any money. Who do you think I am? <laughs> so, what the hell is this? Connecting Cave Ahead, this is the shortcut to... Uh, some sort of new site. Wait, I didn't even read that. Tell. Amberette's west of here or something. So I can go like through this cave or that cave. Which one should I do? Should read. I should read this sign more damn carefully. Shortcuts to Silage City. The Amberette Town shortcut is southwest of here. Cool. Let's go see what this is all about. Zubat Roost. This just sounds like an awful cave. No, never take a step into the Zubat. Anything that has the name Zubat in it, because just find a bunch of these damn things. Fuck you, Zubat. Actually, you know, Zubats actually work kind of nice when I got my boy Routes out here, because now I can work on my, uh, I can confusion the hell out of it, and it will probably work out. Astonish isn't even super effective against me anymore, bitch. That's right. Oh, wait, it is. What the hell? Ghost is. Dark isn't. My bad. Go still fucks me up. Well, that confusion worked out. I should probably heal this dude. 
Use a super potion real quick. I don't know why I'm battling wild Zubats. Just Wally needs experience. <laughs> Fuck your Astonish, bro. Well, it still does like nothing. Oh my god, Zubat. I will never make the mistake of battling one of you again. For real, though. That was the one Zubat I'm gonna battle this whole entire game. Unless so, unless the trainer has it, of course. Well, that was cool. What's going on, lady? How well have you raised your Pokemon? Let's have a battle, and I'll let you know. Well then. Alright. Challenged by Pokemon Breeder Mercy. She's got four Pokemon and leads off with a Ducklet. Nice. I like your Ducklet. Um, so my boy Wally is probably going to be able to just trace this guy's big pecs. Sweet. Wish I had some flying type move or something. Uh, I'm going to, I'm just going to confusion, I guess. This thing's only level 12. Weak ass ducklet. Defog. There's no fog out here. What are you, what are you defogging? My evasiveness. <laughs> it's like when people use sweet scent. Like the most, like literally, like sweet scent would only come in handy if you're battling some, one of those pussies that uses double team like a thousand times. Which I do have double team on here, so I could definitely, <laughs> definitely do that. But my boy Routes is not not about that life. Give you another confusion. Be nice. It's gonna be so nice when Routes evolves. Just getting there. Well, Ducklip fainted. Good shit. Good shit, Wally. Next is an Oddish. Just gonna keep on battling. I want an Oddish. <laughs> Getting the confusion to the face. And two's gonna do it for this guy. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Oddish. I think you don't have any, uh, any poison moves. That would kind of suck. I actually do need to come up on a poison type Pokemon before we get to the Fairy Gym. I've heard people telling me that the Fairy Gym is coming up, and a poison type would definitely be nice. So if I come across something. Definitely try to catch that dude. Oddish fainted. That's right. Chuck grew to level 21. Look at Chuck out here. Already old enough to drink alcohol. Edison wants to learn Electro Ball. No way. Holy shit. Let's see. Electro Ball usually hurls an electric orb at the target. The target. The faster the user is than the target, the greater the move's power. Not bad. I will get rid of, uh... Get rid of Play Nice. Nobody fuck with Play Nice. Then we got ourselves Electro Ball. So usually Pikachu is going to be faster than a lot of people. So it's going to work out. Actually, let's let's send in Pikachu and see what this movie looks even looks like. It better sound as cool. It better look as cool as it sounds. What the hell is this thing? Let's let let's Leo. Oh, it's this guy. I need one of you. Where the hell can I find one of these things in the wild? These things are awesome. The, evo the evolution of this thing actually looks pretty badass too. So let's use Electro Ball, see what the hell this looks like. Oh shit. That was epic as hell. <laughs> Damn. So we got a nice electric move. Other than freaking Thundershock for Pikachu. Thank God. Now she's about to bring in her own Pikachu. Bitch, who the hell do you think you are? I'm just gonna bring out Chuck and just demolish this thing. Here we go, Chuck. Alright, Mr. Pika. Sorry to do this to you, bro. Okay, or you're just gonna quick attack me, that's fine. Vine whip to the face. Here's a one hit kill. Sweet. Damn you, Pikachu, and your static. Oh, actually, wasn't a one hit kill. I wasn't even looking at my DS. Holy crap. I totally thought that would have killed it. Wow. Whoop, quick attack is gonna fuck me up. Just kidding. So, quick attack is gonna fuck me up. Said no one ever. Unless you have like one HP, then you're like, then you're defeated. But, so Pikachu's dead. And we defeated the breeder. Hmm, you're really good at this. My whole Pokemon raising thing. Your whole Pokemon raising thing. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. I'm a freaking pro. So, uh, whoa, we gotta strength the hell out of those rocks, it looks like. But we can go, whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't have strength. Shit. Gotta get strength before we can, like, 
go through that part. So apparently, like, this shortcut cave is not the cave we're looking for. Oh, great. A whole horde of Zubats. Just what I wanted to see. Oh my god, this is like everybody's worst nightmare. Five Zubats at once. Oh, thank god I could escape from it. What if it was like, nope, can't escape. You gotta sit here and wait for fucking five Zubats to use Astonish on you. Alright, so let's go ahead and go up to where that other cave entrance was and see what's cracking down there. Connecting cave ahead. This is the shortcut to Amberette Town. That's where we're looking to go. Alright. Still in the Zubat Roost. It's the same cave. I could even see that connecting rock. That's pretty funny. Found a wild Pokemon. Let me guess, Zubat. Whoa. How did I know that? I wonder if there's anything but Zubats in here. I've, only, I've literally only found Zubats. It's kind of pissing me off. Well, like, why isn't there a Generation 6, like, bat Pokemon? You know what I mean? We had Woobat last generation. I think it was a little bit cooler than Zubat. And we have arrived in, uh... Holy crap, what's going on? Stop right there. Aha, we didn't mean to surprise you. How are you and Ralph doing? Haven't you wondered how a single Pokedex can possibly cover a region as big as Kalos? Well, it can. That's why we're here to update, upgrade your Pokedex. The Kalos... The Coastal Kalos Pokedex was added to Tits McGee's Pokedex. The Kalos... Coastal Kalos Pokedex will be on your Pokedex menu, so tap... Tap it to select it. We'll be taking our leave now. Bon voyage. We'll be taking our leave now. Do people say, holy crap, I can hop down things here. And can I go back up? Yes, I can. Probably should have done that. Well, it is, it is, it's raining out here. Shit, man. I was like, where the hell is that Pokeball? I saw it. It was fucking right there. Whatever. See what kind of wild Pokemon we got going on in this grass. Ooh. Mind Fu. Not bad. Pretty damn good fighting type right there. Trace this guy's regenerator. You know, it's annoying having Wally in front because he traces every fucking wild Pokemon shit. And it's like, I don't care, Routes. I know what ability this thing's got. Well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put... Who should I put in front? I'm going to put... I'm going to put Malcolm in front for now. Wally will, Wally will be used when he freaking evolves. Guy's damn useless. Dream big is what I say. You're looking at the future champion after all. Bring it on. Got a nice little battle. This lady thinks she's going to be the champion, and I highly doubt it. She has one Pokemon. Might need to start with... Oh, it's an Axu, though, at least. Pretty sick. It's probably going to be kind of high level, too, because he only has one. Level 19. Not bad. And it's raining. So you know what, Malcolm, is not the damn best idea. I'm just going to Dragon Rage it, though. Fuck it. Get that standard 40 HP damage. Does solid on an Axu. As it uses Scary Face. Oh no. Axu is like the least scary Pokemon ever. There's no way my Charmeleon is afraid of that thing. <laughs> Seriously. And now it's faster than me. Fast enough to get a dual chop off, which shouldn't kill me. Yeah. Hit two times. Knock me down to 2 HP. Dragon Rage for the kill. That's right, bitch. You're in my house, Axu. You're in my house. I cannot wait for Charmeleon to evolve so I can have a fucking Mega Charizard X. It's gonna be so sick. Malcolm grew to level 19. And Quacklin also grew to level 19. Hell yeah, Quacklin's keeping up. And he wants to learn. Was that, was that Slash? Hell yeah, we'll learn Slash. I'm gonna get rid of Fury Cutter just because Fury Cutter's awful and ain't nobody got time for none of that. So, Quacklin learned Slash. Our team's looking pretty solid. And uh, I will see you guys next episode. Peace out.